This is the book of Revelations, chapter 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. We'll start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Kodash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. The world calls God, Yahweh Shai, is the true name of the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ, Bahasham, as in the name Racha, Kodash, is the Holy Spirit. Shalom to the 144,000 men that's laboring this truth for the sake of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai. Shalom to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth and in sincerity. Shalom. Shabbat Kodash. Coming back here with another video to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai from the Jim. This is your brother Kodash from Jim as West Palm. Coming back here with another video to the Spirit and Power Yabba Shemal Shai. And title this video, Lord Willem, is going to be You know, speaking about, you know, the reparations, you know, they trying to pass, trying to pass the bill or whatever. Uh, let me see what exactly what it was. Um, it's uh, the California Reparations Panel approves payment of up to $1.2 million for every black resident. And they have certain uh, stipulations to it. You have to be over the age of 70, and you have to show proof that you're a descendant of a slave. You know, but... Whether whether they give it out or not, you know, Esau Edom, you know, he's still going, you know, into captivity. You know, he's trying to, you know, uh, put band-aids. He's trying to put a band-aid on a gunshot wound, man. All right? You know, it doesn't matter what Esau Edom does, you know, he's still going to go into captivity regardless. Okay? Because, you know, it's already written. All right, the judgment is already set. And let me start here. Isaiah 55 and 11, so shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it. Okay, you know, so... It says, so shall my word be that go forth out of my mouth, all right? And the Lord is is speaking, you know, via the prophets, okay? So we've been, one of one of the main points of our messages is that the so-called white man, all right, along with these other nations, but mainly the so-called white man is going into captivity, okay? So what we're saying is, uh, what we're saying, you know, through the spirit and power, Yahweh Shem Al Shah. All right, it's gonna it's gonna prosper, man. All right, we're not saying this for nothing. All right, it's not gonna it's it's not gonna uh, if it makes sense, it's not gonna not happen. Okay, it's gonna happen. All right, Esau Edom, he has to go uh, into captivity. Let me go back to Revelation 13 and actually break it down. Revelation 13 and 10. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So who led us into captivity? All right. Esau Edom, the so-called white man. All right. They put us in chains. All right. They put us on the slave ships, sold us on auction blocks. All right. You know, they, they had us picking cotton. Hard, hard labor, you know, for free. They had us doing that for uh, for hundreds of years, you know. So he led us into captivity, you know. And what the scripture says, it says, 
uh, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So he led us into slavery, therefore he has to go into slavery. He says, he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Who kills with the sword? Whose blessing is the sword? All right, the so-called white man. When you go to Genesis, the uh, 32nd chapter, or is it Genesis 25? No, I need to go to the blessing. I believe that's Genesis. This is Genesis uh, 27. This is Genesis 27 and 38. It says, And Esau said unto his father, Hast thou both? One blessing my father, bless me, even me also. O my father, and Esau lifted up his voice and wept. And Isaac his father answered and said unto him, Behold, thy dwelling shall be the fatness of the earth and of the dew of heaven from above. And by the sword shalt thou live and shalt serve thy brother. And it shall come to pass when thou shalt have the dominion that thou shalt break his yoke from off thy neck. All right. So Isaac, you know, which in the reincarnation is Yahweh Shai. All right. Blessed. Esau eat him, all right, with that sword. It says, by the sword thou shalt live. So Esau eat him, he lives by the gun, all right? That's why he invests into war. You know, he's all about war, all right, because that's part of his blessing, okay? That's his That's his strong point. Just like our blessing is the, uh, is the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right, that corn and wine, you know? Esau Eden's blessing is that sword. Alright, you know, and our blessing also is to be uh the Lord's people. Alright, we're the Lord's chosen chosen people. Alright, we have a uh we have a special uh relationship, you know, towards the Heavenly Father, you know, specifically starting with the elect. Here, you know, and that birthright. So let me go back here. Actually, let me get, uh, let me go to numbers. Numbers 35. In verse 33, it says, So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defiled the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. All right, so this America, hey, America is going to be destroyed, you know, first and foremost, you know, but it says, For blood it defiled the land, so this this place is the father it says and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein but by the blood of him that shed it so the lord has to destroy and and kill a lot of edomites man okay you know the lord is going to reserve a certain amount of a heathen or could okay why because we need slaves it says verse 30 uh it says Read 33 again says, For blood that defiles the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Okay, so we got to get that get back on Esau Edom. It says, Defile not therefore the land which ye shall inhabit, wherein I dwell, for I the Lord dwell among the children of Israel. Alright, 
proven again that the Lord is dealing with the nation of Israel only. This is uh, Ezekiel. Um, uh, let me not get Ezekiel. Let me go to Obadiah. This is Obadiah, verse 15. For the day of the Lord, Yahweh is near upon all the heathen. See, all the heathen, is they're going to receive of that judgment. It says, as thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Okay, so how they put us in, into captivity, you know, how they treat us like, treat us like shit, you know. Uh, they have bywords and proverbs against us. Okay, they treat us like trash okay you know that's why it says in Deuteronomy 30 and 7 you know that all these curses shall come upon our enemies you know because you know how they how bad did they treat us you, know, you see it all the time Moab you know whooping uh, uh, whooping Jake women in ass alright throwing them out of the stores you know in the, in the nail salons all right, not wanting to serve them, you know, thinking that we ghetto niggas, you know, which is true. You know, two thirds of our people, you know, behave themselves like brute beasts. All right, you know, but how they treat us and how they feel about us, you know, it's going to be a, a complete role reversal. It says, as thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. All right, so we're going to take your... Uh, Take your sons and your daughters, put them into captivity. All right, you know we're gonna take your sons and daughters. Uh, we're gonna take your daughters as wives. All right, you know you're not gonna be able to enjoy your children no more. All right, just like we can't enjoy our children, you're not gonna be able to enjoy your children. You know, you have to be uh, working all day. You know, just I. Uh, how do you uh, put the horror bondage on us, man? It says, as thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. You know, but the wickedness that these heathens do, you know, like they, they feed us, Moab be feeding us, uh, well, you're, you're an idiot if you still eat Chinese food, you know, but they be feeding Jake rats, cat, dog, all right? You know, that, I forgot what they call it, but that fried rice and the chicken, that fried rice be plastic. The chicken, you know, without the bones in it, it don't really look like real chicken, man. We looking like rat meat, man. All right. It says, you know, but we're not going to be feeding, feeding y'all abominations, but y'all going to get uh, bottom tier uh, lawful food okay it says as thou hast done it shall be done unto thee thou thy reward shall come upon thine own head for as ye have drunk upon my holy mountain so shall all the heathen drink continually yea they shall drink and they shall swallow down and they shall be as though they had not been All right, it's going to be as though you know they haven't been on top you know that they haven't been ruling you know, cause how, how, uh, how poor they're gonna be, man. How, how a, of a, a poor estate, okay. They're gonna be dishonorable, you know, in poverty. It says verse seventeen, but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness. It says, but upon Mount Zion shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the house of Jacob shall possess their possessions. And the house of and the house of Jacob shall be a fire, and the house of Joseph a flame. So that's the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom. And the house of Joseph a flame. And the house of Esau, 
and the house of Esau for stubble, and they shall kindle in them and devour them, and there shall not be any remaining of the house of Esau, for the Lord Yahweh have spoken it. You know, so these other nations, you know, they're bad, you know, but the Lord has a special, a special, special judgment for for Esau Edom. All right, after a thousand years of slavery, all right, we're gonna uh, completely destroy uh, the Edomites, man. Okay, you'll never see another so-called white man again. You know, showing the hatred uh, that the Lord has for the nation of uh, Edom. And this is Isaiah thirty-five, if I'm not mistaken. Um, let me see. Uh, Isaiah 34. Okay, this is Isaiah 34. In verse 5, it says, For behold, it says, For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. All right? Speaking of the thermonuclear missiles, it says, Behold, it shall come down upon Idumea and upon the people of my curse to judgment. So, Idumea is a, uh, is a Greek word for, for Edom. Okay, it says, upon the people of my curse. So, the Edomites are a cursed nation. All right, it says, the judgment. And let me read verse 6. It says, the sword of the Lord is filled with blood. It is made fat with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats and with the fat of the kidneys of rams. For the Lord Yahweh have a sacrifice on Basra and a great slaughter in the land of Idumea. All right, so, you know, uh, America is a uh, is an altar, you know, and the Lord is going to sacrifice America, you know, by burning it up. All right, great sacrifice, you know, as a sacrifice in Basra, about modern day Basra, you know, is America. All right, and a great slaughter in the land of Idumea. The Lord is going to, is coming back to kill a lot of uh, a lot of Edomites, man. Okay, these other nations as well, but as we see, as we read here, you know, Idumia is is, is um, upon the people of my curse. So so they're a cursed nation. So these so called white people out here, man, they think they're so blessed, you know, because the Lord um, has them ruling right now, but really, they're the uh, they're the Lord's curse. You know, and that's showing the balance of the Lord. All right, you know, the Lord gives uh, gives a chance for everyone. All right, time and chance happen to them all. Okay, so the, uh, that's showing the uh, the balance of Yahweh Hashem Shah. Okay, and the Lord, you know, let me, now let me go to Ezekiel. 25 and 12 it says thus saith the Lord Yahweh because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking violence and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them you see greatly offended okay you know and it says and revenge himself upon them you know that's going back to that uh, that hatred that Esau had you know for his brother okay back in the uh Back with Cain and Abel, man. All right, it says, have greatly offended. These so-called white people have greatly offended us, man. They have greatly offended Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. Okay? You know, so the Lord is going to get his get back, man. All right? He, he going to get his get back, you know, through us. Verse 13 says, therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, I, I will also stretch out my hand upon Edom. And will cut off man and beast from it. You see, the Lord is going to stretch his uh, hand out upon Edom, okay, using Yahweh okay, and and the elect, okay, to touch uh, the virgin Babylon, man, okay. It's a virgin. It's the virgin, the virgin daughter of Babylon, because uh, modern, because uh, modern day Babylon, all right, which is a uh, 
which is the rebirth of ancient Babylon, okay, hasn't been touched yet, man. That's why I was a virgin, okay, but the Lord is finna touch this place. The Lord is finna destroy this place. It says it will cut off man and beast from it, and and I will make it desolate from teeming, and they of Dedan shall fall by the sword, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom. You see? That righteous uh that that indignation, that righteous anger. I will lay my vengeance upon upon Edom. So the Lord is going to get his get back. By who? It says, by the hand of my people, Israel. And that's starting with the elect because two-thirds, you know, the Lord ain't going to use a two-third nigga that loves the so-called white man, all right, kissing up to his ass to destroy him, man. He's going to use his his mighty men, all right, the house of David, by Yahweh He's going to use his mighty men to take down Esau Edom, the bases of men. Okay? And it's going to be light work, man. It's going to be light work when the Lord gives us spiritual powers to take these so-called white people out, man. With their uh, their elites, their army, you know, all that is, 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 is weak stuff, man. It says, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel, starting with the elect, and they shall do in Edom according to my anger and according to my fury. So this is all going to be through the spirit and power of Yahweh Basham Yahweh All right. He's going to put his anger, all right, and his fury into us. All right. It says, and they shall know my vengeance, say of the Lord Yahweh. So they're going to know that this is God-like power, man. Okay. Hey, what does it say in Psalms? Uh, that we are gods, man. The Lord is going to uh, make us gods again, man. All right? To where we're immortal. All right? Uh, let me actually stay in Ezekiel. Go and jump to Ezekiel 35. And starting at the top, says, Moreover, the word of the Lord, Yahweh, came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir. Mount Seir is a so-called white man, all right? You know, because they used to dwell in the land of Mount Seir, all right? So this represents Esau, Edom. It says, and prophesy against it. And that's what we're doing. We're prophesying against Mount Seir, against Esau, Edom, okay? Against his ways, all right? It says in Wisdom of Solomon, the second chapter, that we are clean contrary to his ways, man. Right? Verse three, it says, and say unto it, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. You see? I will stretch out my hand against thee. Okay, starting with Yahweh Shai and the elect. Stretching out his hand against, you know, uh, Esau Edom, man. All right? Bringing down his pride, man. Okay? It says uh, in Obadiah, the third verse, that his pride have deceived thee, man. Okay, so he's so puffed up with pride, he don't think he can be touched, man. School of the scripture says, who shall bring me down to the ground? All right, Yahweh Shai is going to bring you down to the ground, man. All right, Yahweh Shai and the elect, all right, and the angels, man. It says, and I will stretch out my hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate, all right? Because the Lord is going to wipe out. Uh, where the gutter rats I stand, all right, the JEWs, the Lord's gonna wipe out America, all right, any place that Esau Edom, uh, any of his dwelling points, Della dwelling places is gonna be desolate, man, all right, gonna be utterly wasted. It says, I will lay thy cities waste, you see, so all, all his, uh, Habitations, man, gonna be left to waste. It says, "Thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord Yahweh." So the Lord is gonna humble Esau, you know, man. He's gonna bring him back to the humble state because he's puffed up with pride right now, man. Like I mentioned, Obadiah the third verse, his pride have deceived thee. That's why it says in that second verse, he's gonna be scared, yet he's gonna still fight, man. All right, just like just like 
uh, the Lord did to Pharaoh, hardening Pharaoh's heart, you know, to keep coming up against the Lord. So the Lord is going to do that to modern day Pharaoh. All right. It says, because thou has had a perpetual hatred, all right, hey, from the beginning, man, everlasting hatred. All right. What is what he said? Uh, um, am I my brother's keeper? You know, the days of my father's, uh, the days of my father's are coming to the end. I said, I slay my brother Jacob, roughly paraphrasing, man. Okay, so that perpetual hatred, okay, always wanted to take down, you know, the Israelites, man. All right, what did, look, look what he did in the garden, Be beguiling Eve, all right, that serpent in the garden, all right, that represented uh, Esau, Edom, man. All right, in a reincarnation, because it says in Revelation as well, it says that uh, that old serpent, the devil, all right, but now he's turned himself into a dragon, man. It says, because that's how thou has had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity and the time that their iniquity had an end. All right, and they took it too far, okay. And it says, what, well, verse 6, Therefore, as I live, said the Lord Yahweh, I will prepare thee unto blood. All right, the Lord is preparing that up right now. It says, And blood shall pursue thee. Seest thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. And it says, Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate, and cut it off, and cut off from it him that passes out, and him that returneth. You see? So the Lord is gonna, uh, the Lord is gonna take out Esau, Edom, man. So it don't matter if he giving us reparations. The Lord is still gonna judge you, man. All right, you cannot escape judgment. You cannot uh, bypass prophecy, man. This is biblical prophecy. All right, only a two-third simpleton, all right, and a coon is gonna. Uh, Is going to be satisfied, I should say, be satisfied with with uh, just reparations, man. All right, and we want we want slaves. We want we want that get back, man. All right, we want to lay our hands on the so-called white man, but it's all about the Lord's timing, man. Okay, on our part, we have to be patient. All right, we can't take matters into our own hands. We have to be patient. All right, you know. So I just wanted to touch on that. You know, Lord willing, uh, these precepts, you know, the scriptures was edifying, the lesson was edifying, came together, and it made sense to the hopeful elect. You know, we'll close with that. Give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kordash, double honors to the apostles and others of Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the house of David and to the next lesson. I say Shalom. And a bubble ball, so long.